Hi guys, Aris, Hardware Busters. Today we have the EBJ Supernova. What the name? 1000G6. Other members on the same line, there are two with 850 and 750 watt maximum power. OEM, Seasonic, this is the first time that we see EVGA teaming up with Seasonic and this is good because Seasonic has some very good platforms. Major differences with the older lines, different OEM, the G2 and G3 lines were from Superflower and G5 by FSP. Efficiency, Cybernetics Gold and 80 plus gold. Noise, Cybernetics A minus, meaning 25 to 30 dBA average noise output. A fully modular cable design, compact dimensions with 140 mm depth. Price information, there's no information yet on the price. I didn't find it anywhere. New Egg, Amazon, etc. But I expect over $200 for the 1000 watt model since the similar capacity G5 model is sold for $210 on New Egg. Warranty 10 years, power specifications. We have a single 12 volt rail which can deliver the PSU's full power alone, while the minor rails can deliver up to 125 watts combined and the 5 USB 15 watt of power. Cables, 2 EPS on 2 cables, 8 PCI Express connectors on 5 cables, 12 SATA on 4 cables and 4 4 pin Molex on a single cable and 1 floppy disk adapter. The EPS and PCI Express cables with 2 connectors use AWG 16 gauges and the Two dedicated PCI Express cables and the 24 pin ATX cable use the standard AWG 18 gauges. All cables are long enough but with 100 to 110 mm distance between all peripheral connectors. I, I expected to see at least 150 mm between the peripheral connectors. In cable caps, there aren't any, and this is good. Internal design, the G6 line uses an updated Seasonic Focus platform featuring an MCU which besides the firmware OPP as EVJ calls it also handles over temperature protection and controls the fan's speed. This is a good platform featuring full bridge topology on the primary side and an LLC resonant converter for increased efficiency. All filtering caps are provided by Japanese manufacturers and are of good quality to outlast the long 10-year warranty. Besides electrolytic caps, many polymer caps are also used. And Honghua, as usual, provides the cooling fan which uses a fluid dynamic bearing for lower noise output and increased reliability. Protection features. This PSU is supposed to have two different OPP triggering points. Nonetheless, I only achieved to trigger one of them, most likely the one that EVJ calls Hardware OPP. Although I raised the load slowly during OCP and OPP evaluation. OCP is adequately set on the minor rails but is quite high at 12V. OPP has a high triggering point too. Most likely EVJ wanted to make sure that no power spike could shut down this PSU. Load regulation, it's tight at 12V, satisfactory at 5V and average at 5VSB. And I would like to see uh, within 1% deviation on the 3.3V rail. Ripple suppression is excellent on all rails. Transient response, the G6 unit cannot meet the performance levels of the similar capacity G3 model and it also stays behind the Corsair RM1000X in transient response on all rails but 5SB. All in all, the transient response is satisfactory but definitely not among the best in this category. Average efficiency. A small efficiency boost would be nice to reach the G3 platform's levels.
Average PF, it is among the best with 150 volt input and quite low with 230 volt. Average noise output, it is kept low under normal conditions at increased operating temperatures. The fan speed profile gets very aggressive though, so noise output will be high too. Overall performance, there is a new performance king in the 1000 watt gold category. The Corsair RM1000X is second, but is following closely. Finally, after so much time, we see EVGA hitting the charts again. Bottom line, it is nice to see EVGA back on track in the PSU market. After Superflower and FSP, it's Seasonic's turn now to provide the platform and the result is very good. The Supernova, what a name for the PSU, okay. 1000G6 is among the best products money can buy in this market segment and its main competitor is the Corsair RM1000X which offers similar performance levels and has about the same average noise output so it is up to you which one you will prefer. A notable difference now between these PSUs is that the EVJ G6 has two more PCI Express connectors while the Corsair unit is among the few that comes with three EPS connectors. Pros, full power at 47 degrees Celsius, high overall performance, good build quality, tight load regulation at 12 volt, highly efficient at super light loads, long hold up time, low inner current with 150 volts input, not noisy at normal operating conditions, fully modular, loads of connectors, compatible with the alternative sleep mode, compact dimensions and the 10 year warranty. Cons, increased noise at stressful conditions, efficiency with normal loads could be a bit higher, high in rush current with 230 volt input, not so efficient 5 vsb rail and small distance between the peripheral connectors. This was another PSU review by Hardware Busters International, stay tuned for more. Like, comment and subscribe to our channel and see you in one of our next videos. Bye bye!